Hello YouTube, it is Toy Adventures here again for another figure review. And today is nothing too crazy, but it is something new. And today we are taking a look at the Jurassic World Dominion Owen and Parasaurolophus. Yes, this is another Owen, but I think this one gets a pretty big pass for a few reasons. Not just excluding the fact that we do get a new look for Owen. This is completely new. Not your usual blue shirt repack Owen. So it is a completely new figure. And we get a really beautiful little uh, juvenile uh, Paris Rolophus. We first saw this with the Lost World uh, Roland Tembo and the uh, engine vehicle. And now that I've repainted it to look something like the uh, Paris Rolophus from the opening of Jurassic World Dominion, where we saw Owen on the horses and he was rodeoing some paras. But this is obviously not the full scale one. I wish we, I hope we do get a full scale one in this exact same, uh, exact same color scheme, just so we have the adult and the juvenile. Obviously they had to make it a juvenile for the two pack because you couldn't pack in for these like little story packs, a full size dinosaur and then uh, a human and still charge the same price for it. So what we get here is the baby para, the rope to lasso it and a brand new Owen. And packaging wise, it is the exact same as the others. We still have to find the maze. I'm not sure what that little uh, creature is called. I know it's not a dinosaur, but we also get beta. Um, and then we get, uh, you know, old Ian, three locusts and a new raptor. So nothing too crazy, just more characters that we've needed to be getting with some bonus dinosaurs that are probably less than stellar just because they're, most of them are repacked. So anyway, that is it for this figure. Let's take a look at it out of the box. Before we continue, I just wanna apologize that if I seem like I'm kind of rushing the review. First of all, these are two not so standout figures and I do have a flight and I have to pack uh, in a few hours. So, you know, I am trying to get this review out before then so I can bring these guys on the trip. Am I filming out there? Well, that is to be seen. It will certainly be a tempting offer. Anyway, taking a look at these two, we're gonna take a look at the Parasaurolophus first. This is an absolutely gorgeous looking uh, design for the Parasaurolophus and one of the reasons I really, really, really want them to make a full size version of this. Uh, everyone who's, who's seen this, you know, toy has been like, oh man, that para is so good. Uh, my friend found this for me at the store and even he said, he's not even into dinosaurs, and even he commented on um, how pretty it looked. My mom commented on how pretty it looked. This is just a really nice looking dinosaur. A really beautiful color scheme and, uh, you know, the cream and the blue go so well together. They contrast so nicely. This just looks really nice. And uh, yeah, I really hope we see a Roarvors or maybe even a Hammond collection version of this exact para soon enough, just to go with the baby, just because I like it so much. But you know, as in terms of differences, it has its own unique scan code. But other than that, it is the same thing that we got with the other baby para, although this is objectively the better para. Because of the color scheme, it is much better than the rather bland looking uh, one that we got with the engine set. So if you're looking for just the para and the vehicle as a substitute, I would still, I would say get this. But I would still suggest getting both because they're just both great sets. And, you know, you'll have two baby paras to add to your para horde. So, with that being said on this guy, there's really nothing else to say about him. He's pretty much just a uh, repaint. So, articulation is standard. You get the head that goes up and down and can rotate 360 degrees. The arms go up and down. No rotation on them. The legs can go all the way around. Pretty simple articulation and the tail can also rotate. So very simple figure for the para. Just a nice little add-on, but I think it's a gorgeous add-on and it really makes me want more from this specific paint design. You know what it kind of reminds me of, especially on the camera, since the camera is contrasting the colors so much more than in real life, uh, it looks much more saturated on this uh, camera screen. It's making it look like those old Dino Valley or Chap May kind of dinosaurs that you used to see in, uh, you know, Toys R Us or whatnot in the pl Animal Planet section, where they used to have these crazy, vibrant color schemes. Uh, I used to love those, and that's what this reminds me of a lot, and I really, really like it. So, enough gushing about what is essentially just an add-in. Let's talk about Owen himself. Now, Owen does come with this rope. It's kind of a uh, weird accessory. It's kind of, you know, non-descriptive, non-Jurassic Park iconic, just kind of a rope, but it does what it needs to. You can rope it around the Parasaurolophus' head and I assume other dinosaurs as well. It does have a nice elastic-y 
kind of rubbery feel to it. Not really elastic, but rubbery, so it can mend and bend. And you could probably get it around bigger dinosaurs' neck. But it works just fine for the one included. Taking a look at the figure itself, he has a really nice, what well, I think is supposed to be a flannel, but they really went simple on it, and it's just a red striped shirt. Do correct me if I'm wrong, and it is just a red striped shirt with, you know, darker burgundy stripes in the movie, or if it is a full-on flannel. Because here, it is definitely not. Moving down here, we have this uh, pretty standard jeans that are a little bit more vibrant blue with some brown boots underneath. Pretty standard affair for Owen. Uh, the face on here really doesn't kind of look like all the other Owens. The hair is a lot much darker of a color, making him look like a completely different human being. This does not look like Chris Pratt at all, but uh, I'm, I don't know why they did that. It's just, it, you can kind of tell we could take a look at another Owen figure in a bit, but as for this one, it's just, it doesn't really add up or fit in with the others. The arms look a little stubby to me, but that could just be me. Uh, of course, you have your standard articulation for these standard Mattel figures. Not This is not a Hammond collection figure, sadly enough. So you do have a ball, point, a, a ball joint head that allows for plenty of movement. You have a nice swivel here at the arm. It folds up about there, and then you can move the arm in about that much full rotation at the elbow. Sadly, there's nothing going on at the wrist. That is Hammond Collection only. Going down here to the waist, we have a nice kick out joint. Pretty standard for Mattel and the hinge at the knee as well as rotation. So he could kick up about that far and kick back pretty nicely. The rubbery material that the trench coat is made out of does hinder in a way and um, the trench coat is cool and all yeah it offers a really unique looking figure but it does get in the way of some of his articulation sadly and with that being said that is really all i had to say about this you know figure set we'll do some minor comparisons mainly between the other para and the other owens as for size comparisons, you guys already know how big these are. If you want to know how big the pair is, go check out the review I did on the engine vehicle. That's where you'll see the comparison sizes for that. But uh, humans, you should already know how big the humans are by now. So let's compare it to another Owen to see how off it looks and to see just how vibrant this pair is compared to its original counterpart. All right, starting us off with Owen. Here is the first ever Owen released. Uh, I still got him after all these years. And here is the new one. As you can see, the hair art is completely different, a completely different shade. Uh, I believe the head sculpt, nope, even the head sculpt is different because the eyebrow is just a little different. That or it's uh, painted better. I can't honestly tell just from this look. They do look a lot different in certain ways, but at the same time, it could just be all up to the paint. Um, so yeah, these do not look like the same person. I don't know. <laughs> what Mattel was thinking making this Owen, but this just looks really bad. So, yeah, it doesn't look like Chris Pratt at all, but it's still a cool action figure nonetheless. And as for the Parasaurolophus, as you can see, it is a huge upgrade from the original release of this figure, which was with the engine vehicle, uh, at least in my opinion. Some may prefer the more muted and held back color scheme of the original. I like this one a lot. This one, I mean. So... Yeah, that is really all I had to say about these guys. Uh, it's a really cool set. Just nice to get the uh, the new look for Owen I, Owen, I guess. It is another Owen, so if you guys want to pass on this, that is completely understandable. I almost did if it wasn't for the how unique the Owen looked in the really cool para. Um, but that is really all I had to say for these guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Will I be filming in Colorado? Perhaps. Perhaps. If I can get around to it, you know, I, I am visiting family there, so that is, of course, going to take priority. But if I get a chance, I am bringing dinosaurs just in case I do get a chance to bust the camera out. So hopefully I'll be able to get some cool, you know, special scenery for a movie. But that is to be seen. Anyway, guys, that has been it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Toy Adventure, signing out. Peace.